Ho, yo, yo, yo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. Hope you're having a great day, great night, whatever time you're watching this video. Yes, we're doing another tier list day. I've done one tier list video before, and that was on the Spider-Man suit. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check that out. Let me know what you think of my opinions. Doing another tier list, obviously. However, it is going to be on the MCU films. TV shows and extra bullshit. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this today is because I saw No Way Home yesterday. Bro. 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 I'm not gonna spoil anything, but bro! Fuck! Greatest MCU move ever- Film of all time, bro. Oh my god, I was smiling the whole time. I thought I was gonna cry. Oh my fucking god. It is- the, If you haven't seen it, go fucking see it, dude. This has only been updated since- I don't know what the newest movie on here is. However, No Way Home is not on this tier list. However, just imagine that in the first place of GOATS, that is where it is. Because obviously, I'm going to be putting the movies in order in the row as well. For the whole video, just pretend No Way Home is at the very start of that. Because, bro, I, I, I jizzed myself. As you can see, I've added in a row in at the bottom. That's for obviously the ones I haven't seen. How do I put this? Marvel's new fan base and the audience they're now attracting. I don't know if it's because they're like new audience from being little kids or, or I don't know what it is. But the new Marvel fans are the most toxic fucking throat cut bastards on the planet. So if you are one of those fans and you disagree with something on this list, Please shut the fuck up, honestly, like, oh my god. Just take into consideration, this is my opinion. I'm judging it off of kind of like an overall of what I thought of the film. The main key factor I'm going to be judging them off of, a retention and engagement for me personally. Because there's like a couple on here that I literally started and I couldn't finish or I had to watch it in like four installments because it just wasn't keeping me engaged. So that will play a big factor into how I rank these. For the ones that are going and haven't seen, I just want to let everyone know there is no no particular reason I haven't seen some of these. So yeah, if I haven't watched your favorite one and you're gonna cry about it, uh, cry about these knots on your chin. That was fucking shit. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just want to put that disclaimer out there because I know that you fucking nerds will come at me. Right, so first up, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. I've seen the first Ant-Man, which is actually, funnily enough, next. From what I remember, I did enjoy it. it. It wasn't anything, like, crazy that I can remember a lot of it, but I remember enjoying it as I watched it. Ant-Man the Hero himself is not something that I cream my pants over like Spider-Man. So I'm gonna put that in good film. I didn't even go through the tears. Fuck's sake. So I have GOATS up at the top, then I got amazing, good film, and I mean, you can see on the screen. Last here is ah! I don't actually know if I will put one in there, but we'll see. Next up is that's Endgame. Um, for now, I'll put it in Amazing. I really liked Endgame. I think there's a couple things I didn't like about it, like Iron Man dying. That I don't want to talk about that. I didn't like that. Uh, but other than that, it was actually a really good film. However, I don't love it as much as fucking Infinity War. That is probably out of all the Avengers movies, that's probably the best Avengers movie there has been. Thor's entrance into Wakanda. Oh, that's fucking amazing. I got- I get goosebumps every time. There's the funny scenes with Star-Lord, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man when they're in space. It's just an all-round perfect film to then lead on to Endgame. Oh, and then we have the 2012 Avengers. I'm gonna put that in GOATS just because I fucking remember when that shit came out. And I, I remember just rushing to the cinema with my friend to go and see it. And to this day, I can still re-watch it like loads. Age of Ultron, I really liked. Right, for now, I'm gonna put it at the top of good. I am tempted to put it in amazing because I really enjoyed it. Age of Ultron. Like, Ultron was such a badass. And when he gave that speech in front of them all, I'm really, oh, you know what? For now, Bro, I just look like the biggest Marvel fanboy. Next up is Black Panther. Obviously, rest in peace, uh, Chadwick. No one will ever play that role as well as he did. I'll put this in good film. I know people might come at me for that. I think he himself as a character is a goat. I don't know, the film didn't entice me crazy amounts. It's, e it, it's either it's top of good or end of amazing, but I'll put it in good for now. Mainly because I, I want to spread them out. I don't want like all in goats and all in amazing, even though realistically all the films are pretty amazing. But I, I do want to spread them out because if you compare it to Infinity War, it is good. Black Widow, I haven't seen that yet. I don't actually know if that's out on Disney Plus yet. Her logo right here looks like 
Ben 10's watch whenever he's ran out of juice and he's got to wait to switch to another alien. Anyway, oh, what Captain America is that? Is that the first Avenger? Yeah. Right! I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this one. I'm gonna put this one in air. I still don't think to this day I've finished it all the way through. I believe, I'm pretty sure it gets better at the end, but bro, this shit takes so long to get into anything good. I, I watched like the first bit a couple months ago. I haven't gone back to it since just because I was like, oh bro, I, I fucking cannot be bothered. I didn't think it was that good in terms of keeping me engaged. Chris Evans is amazing, but out of the Captain America films, that is definitely the least favorite. And I will put that. I'm leaving that in air. Civil War was goaded. It's either top of amazing or goaded because I don't know if it's better than those two Avengers films. Because that, that, see, this is a fucking problem. Some of the movies are so different in like ways so like civil war as a movie was goaded because of what we got to see and like iron man versus cap but is it better than those two avengers films that's what i'm trying to think if i was to re-watch one of those right now it would probably be civil war but then that could just be because i've watched the other two recent fuck it alex continue on i have not seen captain marvel nah this Captain America movie was fucking awesome. The elevator scene where he whoops everyone's ass is badass, and Scarlett Johansson in this, bro. Bro, please beat the shit out of me. I, I, I'm asking, like, please. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this one. I think it's I I enjoyed it more than Civil War. Maybe fuck. I don't know. Cause is it better than Endgame? I don't I don't know. Fuck it. Um. No, we'll put it in Amazing for now. We'll put it in Amazing for now. After Endgame. Doctor Strange. When it first came out, I didn't give a shit. I didn't bother with Doctor Strange. He wasn't a superhero I was aware of, so I never bothered. And then a couple months ago, I went on like a Marvel frenzy with different films. And this is the second best like visual film. Like with all the mirrors dimension and like oh my the cgi in it is incredible it was my number one however i recently watched another one that is in this list and that's taken number one for like visuals and color however doctor strange i will put i really enjoyed it i could watch it again i'll put it here for now i'll put it uh, in front of the first avengers just for now it's hard to go off like i'm going off of what i would want to watch now this is such a hard thing falcon and winter soldier i'm putting that at ass oh my fucking god i tried to watch it yo again come at me if you want but ass like i just I watched a couple episodes, and I, I tried to give it a chance. I forced through so many boring parts and hoping it would get better. And I just think it's dead. I think it's dead. I'm going to leave it in ass <laughs> if you watch it and you're offended, okay? Guardians of the Galaxy, I really like that. I'll put that good film. I enjoyed it more than Black Panther. I don't think any of them are as cool as the character, but I'm judging it on the whole film. And Guardians of the Galaxy, I really enjoyed. Volume 2, I'm trying to remember this one. From what I can remember off the top of my head, I think I prefer these two over that one i haven't seen this hulk since i was like i don't even know when it came out i'm just gonna say like four the only thing i can remember is that badass scene where he's walking towards abomination and he's like does that shit i'm just gonna put it in haven't seen because i cannot remember a dick of it iron man 3 i'm pretty sure this one gets a lot of hate for some reason i really like iron man 3 it's the it's my least favorite of the three i think my order form goes one two three or t i really like two i sweated two i do like three fuck's sake i'm so indecisive i'm gonna put it because i prefer it to all of these i fucking love iron man i'm gonna put it there for now iron man 2 i fucking thought that was amazing i bought it on my ipod when it came out and i watched it like every car journey the first iron man shit's fucking goaded to be honest i think i'd prefer it over the avengers loki i haven't bothered with it i've heard it's really good the thing with the series is like it's like a fucking you gotta stick with it i like it's not like a film where i can just watch it once and i'm like oh that was really good like I can't be bothered for a series, bro. Shang-Chi. This is the most recent one I've watched other than No Way Home. This was the one I was on about that is the most visually pleasing. This shit was incredible. Above Doctor Strange, I don't know if- I fucking loved it. The guy that plays Shang-Chi, that was, that was another perfect casting. He was quality. See, it's hard because I actually, in terms of films, I don't actually- prefer these over a lot of these the superhero himself spider-man's my favorite but like i would rather watch all of the i'd probably put far from home should endgame move up because is endgame better than the first one is what i'm saying right endgame's gone up uh i prefer the shit
Yeah, we're gonna stick Endgame there. Far From Home, I'm gonna put... Probably there. A, a Captain America movie was better, but Far From Home was really good. Uh, Homecoming was better than Iron Man 3, so that's a really good film. Thor. The first one was a good film. I preferred Guardians of the Galaxy to the first one. However, the second one, I'd put it just behind the Captain America one. I re the second one was fucking quality. Now! Ragnarok! If I had not seen uh, No Way Home yet, Ragnarok is fucking top. The movie is awesome, bro. Thor is so funny in it. He, he's badass in it. He gets his cool haircut. He fights Hulk. He's at that weird planet. The end fight sick. His sister Hera is a badass. If I was to pick any of these to watch again, like loads, it would be Ragnarok. It's just so engaging. WandaVision. Nope. Uh, not seen that. I've actually not seen the remaining of these, so I've not seen What If. I have no clue what that is. No clue what that is, and Eternals. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen Eternals. Someone at work was telling me that it was like, he said that it was a bit bigged up and it was a bit shit, so... If he's tripping balls, let me know in the comments below, but... I'm gonna scan over this bitch and then see if I'd change anything. Right, I have changed a few things, so... Okay, so here's the situation. I'm currently editing this video back, and I'm staring at my dumbass on the screen, and I'm staring at this, this fucking list. And I'm sat here like, bro, Endgame and Civil War need to jump up way more past the solo movies. I, I, it's just because I was ranking it on what, at the time, I would prefer to re-watch the most instead of taking in to consideration the whole movie and what it was. Like, with Endgame, it was that whole fight scene at the end. So, yeah. Just imagine I've pushed up Endgame in Civil War and all that shit. Fucking dumbass, Alex. In the amazing row, um, I've put Avengers Age of Ultron after Captain America, because I, I really fucking like Age of Ultron. And then I moved Spider-Man in front of Thor, because I, I, I was just thinking I'd rather watch Spider-Man again than Thor again. Then in good, I put Black Panther in front of the first Thor. Yeah, that is my Marvel movie slash TV show tier list, ladies and gentlemen. If you like it or you agree with it, let me know in the comments. If you fucking hate it and you hate me, uh, also let me know in the comments below if you would change anything. Again, drop that in the comments below. I will leave a link to this tier list, this exact one, in the top link of the description. So if you want to go try that out as well. If you do do this tier list and you want me to see yours, make sure whenever you've done it, drop me a DM on Instagram or tweet me a tier list. I would love to see how you would rank these or how much different you would rank these. <laughs> But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tier list. If you want me to do any more tier list, drop some shit in the comments below of what tier list you want me to do. Make sure you fuck the subscribe button. Make sure it says subscribed, all that sort of shit. Please, please, please leave a like on the video. Check out all the links in my description to follow all my shit. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, peace.